Please tell us what makes the Kalis PIM test equipment unique. Uh, Kalis PIM test equipment is unique in that we have implemented what we call range default. Range default is the combination of both return loss measurement as well as PIM measurement and giving us the ability to show the relative distance between both of those measurements. Okay. Can you give us a demo? Absolutely. All right. So if I do a, do a distance default or range default analysis, I push the button. The first thing our system is going to do is a return loss check just to make sure that we're not firing into an open circuit. The next thing it's going to do is go directly into the distance to PIM or range default uh, measurement. And this is our enhancement mode. So you can see that here in this case, we found one PIM fault located at 3.2 meters. We found a second PIM fault located at 6.1. Now this is a combination of a 3 meter cable going into a inline PIM source, going to another 3 meter cable, and going to another PIM source. So we found both of those faults within you know, plus or minus a tenth of a meter accuracy. The other thing we're able to do is, at the same time, we're doing the, the distance to return loss measurement. And so we found the, the reflection right at the beginning of the, the RTF module. It found the second PIM source or reflection exactly at three meters, and found the third one at six meters. Now, the real value of this is that since we know that PIM problems generally occur in mechanical interconnects, these reflections give you a very clear indication of where the interconnects are located. And if I now do the overlay function, I can now see the relative location of the location of known reflections compared to the location of the known source. So when you're in the field and trying to quickly troubleshoot a site, this allows you to very rapidly pinpoint the location of those PIM problems and fix the site a lot faster.